welcome back. I'm Jay and this is Jay and the Chirita. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of um, home decor, a thrift haul, and um, getting into some Facebook market marketplace and auction ninja searches. So um, picking up where I left off last time, I do want, I, I already started to put these up and I was filming it and then it got um, erased. So um, I made these at the last upload and um, I'm slowly starting to do my fall decor um, and just incorporating things as I go. I, I made these faux taxidermy um, wall plates or wall decor just with um, Dollar Tree uh, materials. So these are a dollar from the Dollar Tree or whatever, a dollar or something from Dollar Tree. I painted them black. I got some insects um, and spray painted them gold. I saw this on Pinterest and I thought it was a really cute idea. And since I already have some um, taxidermy in this really moody um, study, I thought this would be a good place to um, put some of these. I might even leave them up past the Halloween um, fall season, so they might work. Um, and I'm just testing them out. I want to live with them for a little bit because originally I thought I would do a, a, a full like wall downstairs with with these, um, and I might still do that. But um, so in order to not put more holes in my wall um with this especially with this wallpaper this wallpaper is from amazon um so feel free to look up my room makeover i'm pretty sure i linked the wallpaper in there um but i bought i got these at the dollar tree they're just fasteners um like velcro fasteners so i'm gonna stick these um i mean it seems like they're holding up pretty okay now um, and put them up on the wall and kind of just place them strategically around the room, especially to fill up areas like this. So for example, um, this was empty before and it just felt a little bit like off to me. Um, so I'm gonna put, I put these up and I'm doing two different shapes and trying to do like one flying insect and one like ground insect. Um, so, and like a bigger one and a smaller one so that they it just looks a little bit more i don't know intentional or just not off so these seem okay here and let's see i think i'll do um try this it's it's not permanent if I want to switch it up I can um, so thrift haul not huge but it, it's pretty big and the things are all over the house already um, so I'm just gonna start the thrift haul here and then we'll meet downstairs and do the stuff that's downstairs um, just because I'm lazy and I don't feel like moving everything down and up again <laughs> sorry um, okay so first I do want to say that I love Goodwill so, so much. Um, and I, and I often find really good things, but there are some items that I'm specifically looking for that I just can't find at a Goodwill. Um, even after looking for months and months, sometimes I manifest things. So I'll think about something and, um, 
it kind of comes up and, and I find it and I get really, really excited about it. Um, but sometimes that doesn't happen. So, um, so for example, so for a long time, since I have, um, the little bar here, I took a music, like a music, uh, music sheets holder and turned it into a small little bar. Um, and I've been looking for a silver or, or just a nice ice bucket, like anything that really speaks to me that kind of fits in this decor and I couldn't find one. So not at Goodwill. So I started looking on Facebook marketplace for a couple of months and every time I'm on auction ninja, I also look for these items. So I found them for a pretty good price. Um, this really affluent person was moving from their home and I've got some great stuff. Um, so first I want to show you the ice bucket I found. Like this is really heavy silver um, and it's patinaed in a beautiful way. Um, it has these like amazing handles um, and like the roping around it. I just love this ice bucket. I think it's it's so beautiful and substantial. This is exactly what I was looking for. Um, I paid $12 for it, um, plus like the 18% um, kind of seller's um, cost that comes with it. But I still think it was a really good price for something like this. Um, and it come, you know, it came with the little scooper um, that'll go in there. And I am just so ecstatic about this piece. I think it'll look beautiful in the bar, um, you know, with the, with the other bar items. So I found this at that auction lot. So there was a lot of, a uh, of very similar items. I bid on them, um, and one, and then you just, you just go, you get an email to pick them up on a certain date with a certain time and you just sometimes it's a home sometimes it's like an auction seller's location um and so it's kind of like an estate sale but you're not going around and picking items up one thing i like estate sales a lot and i, tr I try to go to them my only issue is that estate sales they're they mark their items up so much and they're on sale on site and i just feel like on auction ninja you kind of know what you're willing to bid and what you're not willing to bid and after a certain time like if i go over a certain budget i won't bid anymore um whereas on uh, as an estate sale things are already marked maybe you can haggle a little bit and get things for a better price but that's pretty rare and I find that things are really marked up at estate sales. So Auction Ninja are estate sales, but you're bidding, you know, online. And so you can kind of keep track of your budget a little bit more. Um, so anyways, I'll talk about an estate sale in a minute, but um, also in that same um, auction lot, was this beautiful champagne bucket. Um, I think these are excellent to have if you're looking to style your home in an English country, English cottage vibe, or like Ralph Lauren um, studies or styles, um, circle like 90, 1990s. These are great. Um, you can put a plant in here. You could put a little Christmas tree. Um, they're also amazing because they kind of look like trophies. Um, so I also, um, like try to look for trophies that I can put up in my little library section. Um, but yeah, I just love the shape of this, um, champagne bucket. It's just stunning. Um, and it also has that beautiful patina, those lovely handles that look like a champagne bucket. I've seen, um, that, that look like a trophy. I've seen um, people style hydrangeas in these. That looks amazing. I actually do. I did that downstairs with another champagne bucket that I found um, last year on Auction Ninja. Um, and I just love the patina on this. I think it's gorgeous. So I also got a good price on this. I think it was like $10. Um, 
which since I'm always on Facebook Marketplace and stuff, um, I rarely find silver um, items for that price. Um, with that lovely patina, they're actually at Facebook Marketplace is a little bit more expensive. Um, but um, I like shopping both. I also found a biscuit jar. Um, I hardly ever see these actually on Auction Ninja and Facebook Marketplace and definitely not at Goodwill. Um, so I love this. I've actually been watching Homeworthy a lot. Like I've been binging Homeworthy. I love the home tours that they do. It's so inspirational, especially like the ones that are antique or cottage or English country. Um, if you're looking for inspiration, I do recommend watching Homeworthy. And on Homeworthy the other day, someone who had like a really nice like um, beach cottage, um, a little bit more modern than my style, but she would decorate with pieces of old and vintage and antique items. And on her bar, she had a biscuit jar and I had never really thought about it and how cute those were and just the way she styled it. And then I was like, oh, I'd really like to find a biscuit jar. A week later, I find one on Auction Ninja for $6. Um, and it's, you know, it's glass. It has this beautiful like star shape at the bottom. Um, and you see, sometimes you just have to manifest things and they come up. Um, this beautiful silver um, lid. Sorry, my nails are a mess. Um, but I just thought this was gorgeous. And even the auction seller was like, oh my God, this is my favorite piece of the whole lot um, or the whole auction. And I was so lucky to get this for like $6. I'm very excited about this. So these items I'm going to put away in the bar, um, you know, and style those. Um, and then there were like, she had like a free bin um, next to her desk. And I just picked up these little, you know, this little jar. I like to put detergent in stuff like this. Um, so, you know, I can get rid of that like plastic bottle that's like super bright colors. So I always like to pick something like this up. Also, if you're looking for Christmas gifts, you can make um, coquito or something or a nice like eggnog and fill these, obviously wash it out um, for everything you use, but you can fill these up with a, a delicious beverage in the holidays and give them away, put a bow on it, give them away. Um, and and it should, they, I just found this little honey comb thing for honey in that free bin. So I just grabbed these as well. So I love, I love when I go and pick something up and something happens to be free and then I'm just getting like a two for one deal. The other thing that I got, so um, I've been, because I'm on a home worthy binge, like everyone who styles their home in an English cottage vibe has Staffordshire dogs or Staffordshire dogs. And I've always seen them um, just around as I was growing up. And I never really considered like their history. So I started doing some research and they're just everywhere in terms of, um, you know, these like really nicely styled homes. So then I was like, I want one because <laughs> I'm terrible um, and I have a problem. And when I see something that people are using to style, then I want it, but I'm not willing to pay full price for it. So I was looking on Facebook Marketplace for these dogs and um, they're marked up like they're they're pretty highly expensive. Then I found an estate sale nearby that had like a hundred of these dogs. Um, and I was like, I bet you I'm going to go over there and I can find a dog that I can buy for a good price. I they were enormously expensive. Um, $250 was the cheapest. Um, there were sets for 600 some for 300, 400, I mean, all in great shape, but I was like, I, I, I don't have that kind of money to spend on a Staffordshire dog, but I really want one. Um, and then I thought maybe I'll just get a replica like on Amazon. Um, um, but then I went on Facebook Marketplace and I saw this woman was selling one for $65. I asked her if she would take 50 and she did um, for this, dog 
that's in really good condition. Um, I've looked it up. It's not marked. Usually the the originals or the antique ones aren't marked. They have a little hole at the bottom, um, not like a big hole to like air out the ceramic or something. They have crazing on them. I know this is very odd. I, like normally this is not my style. I don't, um, I don't know. I've never really paid attention to these or they're, they're kind of quirky and funny and weird. Um, and that's also what everyone on Homeworthy says. But now that I, I saw it so much on all of those episodes, I just really wanted one. I wanted something quirky and weird in English. So I don't know. I got it for $50. This is a steal for these. these they go for a lot more money. Um, and I just think he's funny. And um, I don't know. Very original. Like it has like the individual legs. So I picked him up and now he lives here in the study um, along with my mallard duck, my Philip the pheasant, my random things that I have in here. Um, so I just <laughs> wanted to, to talk to you about, I have such random things in here. This study is really a collection of all the oddities and curiosities um, that spark intelligence or interest or intrigue or something weird. Um, the other day I'll show you, this is very odd, but it's summer, it's the end of summer and I was at the beach and I, I saw this, um, horseshoe, horseshoe, horseshoe crab, um, like skeleton. Um, and I just, I loved the, the dark color of it and it's, you know, it has like, it's, it was on the sand, it was on the beach, all washed up. I did wash it off, um, but I love, like, these are just really weird things that for the summer decor, some, to some taxidermy kind of thing, I don't know, like, so now it just lives here um, and it's just, it's a conversation piece. So I, you know, this is obviously free. If you're going to the beach and stuff, like look around for stuff, look around for um, seashells, interesting seashells, crab skeletons or stuff like that, because, um, you know, maybe they'll bring interest to a little, you know, maybe a coffee table, maybe a library um, bookcase or a bookcase, or you can hang it up on the wall. Um, like this, um, I don't like how it's hanging too much, but it's what I could do for now. But I found this at Goodwill. It was like a gold antler that's definitely not real, obviously, but I spray painted it. I think I'm going to paint it more white and then put some like wax on it, like some um, antiquing wax to try to make it look a little bit more original. But this um, office just has a bunch of decor like that. Um, the other thing I'll show you that I picked up on. Oh, I have a good one. I can't remember. I went to I went to Remix Market, which is like my like kind of salvage secondhand junkyard or something, but but not really like they sell. It's it's like a thrift store, um, but mostly for furniture. And I got something. What was it? I can't remember. I can't remember what it was, but it was. It'll come to me. It was something I got, I went there and I, I picked something up. Maybe it was a piece of art, um, but I picked something up and, oh, I know what it was. It was a stool. So I picked up a stool, which I'll show you downstairs um, for $15. And I saw this thing, which I had also manifested because someone on Homeworthy had one of these by their fire, but it was, it was like a box for wood. Um, this is a magazine rack or a, a book rack or something. Um, and I love that it has the horses and that it's brass and they had like a, a, a wood holder brass box, um, by their fireplace. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. It has horses on it, equestrian. So then I start manifesting this and I'm like, oh, I'm, you know, I'd love to find something like that. And I looked on Facebook marketplace. I didn't find any, but then I went to the remix market. I found that stool. I thought it was great for a little seating space downstairs and then I saw this and it wasn't marked um and I shop there a lot so I I know I can negotiate so I asked him like 
would you do these two items for $20? And he was like, he just, he was like, you know what? It's not Mark, just take it. Like, I think, I don't know if he was new there or something, but I ended up getting this thing for free and that stool for $15. So this was an amazing find. It has um, some books in here, um, but um, it's just hanging out by my fireplace. Um, and what's the back? It's just, it's, it's an equestrian scene or a, um, a horse carriage scene, um, and all brass and just in really good shape, actually. The other thing I found on Facebook marketplace was this, um, globe on a stand that was really, really cheap. There was, it was two items being sold together for $20, um, I guess they were moving. And so I picked this globe up, um, you know, just cause I feel like it suits here. But really I was looking for a chess table um, or or like a chest, a chess um, just piece, I don't know, um, a, a chess game. And they were selling this beautiful table um, that I just fell in love with. And I had the chess pieces so I figured, oh my gosh, that's perfect for this little corner here. Um, I do have a lot of furniture in here and maybe this isn't ideal, but I really wanted it. And so it was a good price for both of those items. So it's just this little chess table. Um, sorry, my, my stuffing fell on there. Um, my, um, there's like paper there, but I'm gonna pick that up in a little bit, but I love this table and I just thought that was a great find. And then lastly, um, on Auction Ninja, um, this was another uh, another estate sale on Auction Ninja and they, I got like a couple of pillows from there. So I picked up this like needlepoint pillow that I just have for, for my desk chair. Um, but I love needlepoint. I think it's so special and, and beautiful. I'd love to learn how to do it. Um, but yeah, needlepoint pillows are just amazing. So I picked this up for, um, a set of two for, I think $7. Um, and you know, it has a zipper and you can like remove it and carefully wash it. But I thought that was really special. All right, let's, let's put that other wall art up and we can move on. guys ready for my part two of the thrift haul um so i did go to goodwill i'm just kind of doing this in random order but um i went to goodwill i got this for three dollars i already took the sticker off because i wanted to hang it and i'll show you where i hung this but what i loved is that it actually came with the plate hanger already um and i've picked these plate hangers up at like rummage sales like church rummage sales for um like a dollar a piece um but i love that little deer scene i know it's like giving more spring vibes um but i think i'm gonna leave them up all all year um this is made in bavaria germany and i just love nature scenes um, I love like the green little outline and like the scalloped edge. So I picked this up for $3.
Um, I picked this item up. It's just like a little um, box. I don't know. I thought I could use this to hold some of my mail, um, like maybe put it by the front door and maybe hold some of my mail. I just loved this, um, this handle. I think it's so beautiful. Uh, and like the little design, um, the, and, and also this closing piece, it was $8. Um, a little pricey, but I, I, I feel like I've been looking for like a mailbox type thing. Um, and this isn't exactly what I was looking for, but it could be used for my mail. Um, so I thought that was cute and I just couldn't leave this behind. So I picked that up. And then at the estate sale, um, at a, at, no, at a couple of estate sales, like where on auction ninja, I, there was one lot that, that was supporting the Boy Scouts or something, and they had a lot of, um, lampshades that I just loved. So I got a few for a dollar a piece or $2 a piece. This one is a dollar. I just love that it's like fabric. Um, I think that's really cute for a cottage. This is more spring vibes. I'll probably switch this out um, closer to my fall decorating. I'm just gonna put that back on here. I also got this pleated lampshade. Um, I just picked up kind of all the lampshades they had. Uh, nobody else wanted them, so I got a couple for a dollar and others for two dollars. Um, and I just think, you know, any fabric lampshades you can pick up, it adds the cutest touch. Um, and I don't have a whole lot of um, actual lamps, but I have a lot of candlesticks, like brass candlesticks with candles on them. And I'm actually fine, obviously like don't light these up, but I'm finding that even just when they're not lit, placing these lampshades on top makes it look so cute. And like, it's like its own little candle, um, its own little lamp. Um, so I got this one. I love this one for fall. And this one um, is just really sweet and brings a little touch of cottage blue. Um, and here's the other uh, needlepoint pillowcase that came with that other one from upstairs. This one's smaller, so it's actually sitting on the stool that I picked up. So I'll show you a clip of that. This is like kind of large, so I don't know if I can lift it, if I, you could actually see it, but I'll show you a clip of it. This is the Remix Market stool that I got for $15. It's in great shape, um, beautiful woodwork, um, and pretty substantial for $15. Uh, so I picked that up for like a little seating area near my entry to like put your shoes on and stuff. Um, and it was such a great deal that day because I got that stool for 15 and then the brass horse um, carriage uh, like magazine holder for free. So it was a really good day. Uh, also at Auction Ninja, I got one of these um, long burger, longa burger baskets um from ohio with this cute little you know like fabric liner inside these are collectibles um and i don't have a basket in this circular shape they had a bunch of these but i really wanted one in this circular shape so i picked this up um it'll probably go on my basket wall or something i'm unsure i'm unsure this was um it was actually $7, a little pricey, but I think because it's a collectible, um, a lot of people were bidding on it. And at that estate sale, I, where I was trying to get the Staffordshire dogs um, and I just couldn't afford them, I got this little um, brass frame and um, it was $5 and then another stool um, 
also i found that that estate sale for 15 dollars. you see how like estate sales are are marked up that much bigger stool was 15 dollars at remix marketplace this was 15 at the estate sale it does have like really nice fabric and fringe and i'm sure it's you know expensive but this is like an actual footstool that's like a seating stool um both for the same price but i figured i went all the way there and i didn't get my staff dog so i just looked around to see what else they had and i walked away with two items from there and then um actually with the other pillow sets um or with the lampshades actually i got two of these little pillows um you know circular pillows i love the color i thought this was a really nice color and that it's circular they were dollar for both um so that was nice and then lastly um at another estate sale i got this chandelier which was tested and works for 21 dollars um I have some of the other pieces that I need to like hang back on. Um, I'm, I'm either going to put this in the upstairs. I don't know if I'll like, it's either going to go in my entryway or the upstairs hall or in my bedroom. Um, but this is a really heavy yet small chandelier for $21. I love it. I think it's so beautiful and I got really, really excited to win this lot um you know and that it's tested and working partner's actually an engineer so he knows how to um and and does construction work so he i'm very lucky that he knows how to do um he's like an electrician a plumber construction just knows how to fix everything so even if it needed a little work um he'd be able to do that for me so i'm really excited about that and oh and then I also got this little thing, this little um, wedge wood piece. Um, I have one of these in green um, that holds like my rings and everything. And I just love this color. It was a dollar um, and wedge wood is, you know, collectible. So I picked this up. I thought this was really sweet. And then I have a set of these. I actually, I guess one day at Goodwill, I found this wedge wood. Um, um, these little Wedgwood teacup plates for a dollar and I only picked up one because I wanted one for under a plant and then I saw them still there and I figured you know what I'm gonna take the whole set since I was buying that other little plate um, so I need to wash these off um, but they're really really cute and it's something Wedgwood I don't know has a little mark back there um but i thought these were great um and a nice neutral color so that is my thrift haul it's 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 substantial this time around so um i know this video oh i have one <laughs> i have one more thing one more thing i am a hoarder okay um, also at the, at an, at an estate sale, um, I have a problem. I love lamps. Uh, I don't know why I just, every time I see a nice lamp, I like really want it and I have a lot of lamps, but what I do is I keep some in storage and I switch them out, um, every season. So right now I have a beautiful crystal lamp, um, out in my kind of dining area, um, with a beautiful pleated lampshade that I'm going to be switching out for, um, the fall. So that's kind of like my spring summer lamp. And this, I thought I would put in its place, um, this beautiful, they said it was mid-century, but I, I, maybe it is, but it doesn't feel like mid-century to me. It feels more like English to me because of like the candle look. Um, and I love the brass lampshade um and this little finial up here is just gorgeous so this was seven dollars on auction ninja um which is a really really good price for this lamp um so i couldn't not leave that so 
Um, I'm actually surprised that it, it, it did a lot. It didn't get more bids. So I was really excited about this find. Okay. That's all for the thrift haul. Um, I'm going to show you around like how I'm, I'm using some of these pieces. Or just made this as like a joke. So I have this little candle here. I'm just placing a little lampshade over it. Oh, by the way, like if you're looking for a reproduction um, stop a jar dog, I found this on Amazon. It's just a little toothpick holder and I love that it's blue and white. Um, this was really cute and it's also like a really cute gift. So just keeping this little guy here. Okay, you guys, for those of you who are new, because we do have a bunch of subscribers, this is Lecherita. She is a Holland Lop and she wanted to come and say hello. And thank you all for subscribing. Um, I know this video is a little bit longer than I usually make them, but we had a lot to share. And do stay tuned. I think next week, um, now that September is officially here, um, we can get started with some slow fall decorating, some DIY Halloween decor, um, which I'm really excited about. I think what I'm gonna be doing is turning a, an old dollhouse to a kind of spooky haunted house or just like gothic house. So that'll be fun. Um, and you know, follow me for more inspiration. Hopefully this is inspiring you. And Lechera is so thankful that you're here with us. So we'll see you next time. Bye guys.